So I think most people who live in Miami may have heard of the Miami Circle. If you haven't, it's at the mouth of the Miami River right here in downtown Miami, not too far from History Miami Museum. Um, and it's the site of a village uh, where the Tequesta lived. Um, the mural behind me shows what an artist think that might have looked like um, based on the evidence found by archaeologists, including the creation of the Miami Circle itself. So that's here in the foreground. And in the cases there, you'll see some objects that were found at the Miami Circle. Um, the carapace of a turtle, and then some pieces of limestone showing the post holes, the like actual holes that were dug at the circle. I think some of the coolest stuff, though, that was found is what's in this case right here. So I make sure I, I point it out on every tour I give. It's evidence of a trade network that existed between the people who were living at the Miami Circle, the Tequesta, and then people throughout the eastern United States. As far north as even Lake Michigan. Objects such as basalt and galena, so naturally occurring materials. The coolest one, I think, is the pumice stone, which is this one right here. Um, pumice is an igneous rock. It's a volcanic rock. Um, we don't have that in Florida. We don't really have much of that in the eastern United States. And if you look at the map here, it shows that we think the pumice probably came from Mexico. Um, so did it float here on the Gulf Stream? Did it get here some other way? We don't know for sure, but I just think that's one of the coolest things in this area.